Malika Andrews is not happy about the Nets pursuing Ime Udoka, and you can visually see it while she's talking about the subject. But her comments on the show is what had me questioning, what is your issue with Ime Udoka? I want you to hear how she completely tried to turn a productive conversation about the Nets issues they've had over the years into an issue with Ime Udoka and accountability for women in the NBA. Listen to how she pivots off of Richard Jefferson's words. Hold him accountable. I have never been on a great team in my life without accountability. And I've played four NBA finals, national championship, Olympics. I have never been on a team that was able to accomplish things without high level of accountability. And I think that's where they were lacking. Mm. And I think it showed up in their play. I, I want to bring Zach Lowe into this conversation now because it it's not lost on me that Ime Udoka has done incredible things with the Boston Celtics. But it just seems like if we're having this conversation about Ime Udoka being hired by Brooklyn, where he was an assistant coach, accountability is the word I keep coming back to. Where is the accountability to women in the NBA? Zach, what do you make of this? Let's just rewind the whole thing. The last 16 months in Nets. Okay, bear with me today, guys. I have a lot to say. One, the way that she keeps trying to pivot this conversation into a fight for women over a consensual relationship is quite annoying. He slept with a colleague and rumors are that Malika Andrews was also involved with a colleague at some point in her career at ESPN. Now that's all speculation. I'm not going to put names out there. You guys can go and do the research for yourself and see who it was. But you talk about what the accountability for women should look like. If anything, there was no accountability in this situation for the second party due to who her husband was. She didn't get a punishment. They concealed her name. It was so many things that she found favor in just because of who she was associated with in her marriage. A married woman made a decision to step outside of her marriage with another consenting adult and Ime was the person who caught all the smoke in the media. His name was in the media circus while they protected her identity. They gave her absolutely no punishment within the organization, which is why some of Malika's question, because you're allowing your personal feelings to affect your reporting, which should never be the thing. Then again, let's go back to her and how she hijacked this conversation to try to try to force her colleagues to answer questions they weren't suited for. You can see Zach Lowe's face when she asked the question, where is accountability for women in the NBA? What do you make of this? And he completely ignores the question and he brings the conversation back to the Celtics and the Nets. For some reason, she does not want to let the past be the past. Ime got suspended. Do you want him to be out of work forever? He faced the consequences of his decision. Plus more, the guy got suspended for a year and everybody thought that was a pretty harsh punishment for something that happens all the time, but it's not reported on. You want him to not work forever because he made a mistake? She did the same thing by bringing up Joe Mazzulla's criminal past prior to the news of him becoming an NBA head coach. It seems as if she took her she took her colleagues asking for fair punishment for the woman involved in the Amy Udoka situation personal, and she wants to leave a stain on specific careers of men in the NBA. Joe Mazzulla was in his early 20s when he made those mistakes, and he's obviously rehabilitated into a mature member of society as he's currently a head coach for the Boston Celtics, which means he has made significant changes to who he is as a person. You bringing up that information had no bearing on if he had the ability to do the current job that he's hired for. Now, I will say this. I will say this. I understand that people's perspe perspectives shape their views on things. And we both know with Malika Andrews being a woman, she probably experienced some form of bias at ESPN when it came to career progression or unwanted attention from her male colleagues. Even Rachel Nichols stated as a woman, she experienced discrimination at ESPN. So I get that and I understand that. And if that was the case, I don't want that to be the case for anybody, but it's no reason to hang on to the mistakes of Ime Udoka and try to force your colleagues into uncomfortable conversations. 
I can guarantee you the producers did not have that conversation topic on the list of things to be discussed about. And this, it's this reporting like this that turns people away from mainstream media. It's why I got into in independent media. People just want to hear about basketball. Not everything needs to be hijacked by an opportunity to prove your personal bias. I said this yesterday in my video about Kyrie Irving. It's cool to have your own personal beliefs. It makes you who you are. But you do have to realize the decisions you make not only and how you approach things not only affect yourself, but it affects those around you. And I think it was very selfish of her to try to bombard her colleagues with that question out of the blue you can see zach lowe's face he was just like what <laughs> i'm not expecting this if you watch this segment he was completely bombarded but anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments this has been another episode of no time to explain like comment and subscribe